The New York Liberty, they've won seven straight games, but for the first time this season, they will face off with the back-to-back -back WNBA champions. That would be the Las Vegas Aces. And Saturday, this is a showdown. It's out in Sin City, a rematch of last year's WNBA Finals. So let's preview the matchup. We're going to do it with a WNBA analyst who is out in Vegas right now. Takira Carter joins me. Ty, what's going on? How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm finally glad we got to connect on here to talk some women's hoops. And Ty, the New York Liberty, they've started the season strong, 11-2 record. What do you attribute their success to and who have been the standout players for them thus far? I attribute their success to having the early woes that they had to go through in the preseason where I would say they didn't look their best earlier in the season. Chemistry-wise, they didn't look their best. They have a loss under their belt to the Chicago sky. And I think now where we can say the players who have come along, who have always been their stars are Brianna Stewart, Sabrina Inescu, and of course, John Quill Jones. And so I think those three consistently night in and night out, you never know uh, who's going to fill up the box score as far as those three go, but you also know that they're going to show up. So those three have definitely been the catalyst behind their success to start this season. Yeah, the big three have been fantastic thus far to start the season. That 11 and 2 record for Liberty, seven straight wins. But we got to look on the other side at the Las Vegas Aces, and they've had a bit of a slower start with a six and five record. They lost three out of their last four games. What challenges have they faced early in the season, and how have they been addressing them thus far? I think no one could have really guessed or predicted that right now the Las Vegas Aces will be six and five. But a big piece of their offense has been out, which is Chelsea Gray, who runs that point guard position she's handling an injury right now and so when you think about Chelsea Gray and all that she does for this team I went and I looked back at her stats from last season she was averaging 15 points per game that's 15 points per game that they don't have right now she's a threat on the floor because she's a, a spacer and so she also is the person who gets the ball to Asia Wilson at will and so it has been a little harder for Las Vegas to flow into their offense seamlessly without her out there on the floor she hasn't played a single game this season and I would also just say uh chemistry wise they, they look a little off at times because they're people who typically do step up like a Kelsey Plum she hasn't been playing her best basketball right now and then Jackie Young she's been a little bit up and down but she's coming off of a game where she scored a career high 34 points so when those three are on point with their counterpart Asia Wilson Las Vegas is hard to stop even without Chelsea Gray yeah, they are, and they're hoping they can get Chelsea Gray back soon, excuse me, into the fold. We'll see how all that works out. They've also, <clears throat> excuse me, they've also dealt with some injuries, like you said, Jackie Young also has been banged up through this time, so hopefully they're getting healthier and trending in the right direction. But this is the first time, Ty, that these teams are meeting since the Aces won the 2023 WNBA Finals. How do you think last year's Finals outcome will influence this game, if it does, and Who's got more to prove in this game? Who needs to win more? Is it the Liberty or is it the Aces here? I think the Liberty have to uh, prove that they can beat the Aces on their home floor in a consistent manner. Now, they were able to do so last year in the Commissioner's Cup. It was, you know, up and down in the finals as far as their play. But I don't think the New York Liberty play their best basketball against the Aces. And that has kind of been their Achilles heel in this matchup. And so I think they have to overcome what I think is a mental block to show that um, when they go up against the Aces, it, it's, it's their time that they could win. And I think getting this first one under their belt could definitely be a feel-good victory for the New York Liberty, seeing that they were also the team to deliver the Connecticut Sun their very first loss of the season. Yeah, that would be good. Two huge wins if they do that. Beating the Sun last Saturday, beating the Aces this Saturday will go a long way for them. And Ty, when it comes to beating the Aces, you know this. This is a question people across the league have been trying to figure out, especially this year, because she's having a historically great season. How do the Liberty slow down Asia Wilson? We know she can get buckets. How do they slow her down in this matchup? You pray. <laughs> like, listen, you pray. But, I mean, if we're being serious, I think you have to crowd her with bodies um, and get the basketball out of, out of her hands. So, especially, she has developed her mid-range game she's stepping out a little bit further now so the the challenge is not just guarding her on the interior down low where she's posting up but you also have to be ready to guard her off the bounce and so I think you have to crowd her space and you have to to gamble to try to get the basketball out of her hand so how do we send two at Asia Wilson and dare somebody else to score and step up like in Alicia Clark 
cool. She is uh, good if she can do that. But again, it's not on a consistent basis. So how often can the New York Liberty get the basketball out of her hands? I think will be a testament to see uh, just how far they'll go in this game is trying to slow down Asia Wilson. I'm not going to say stop her, but I'm going to say slow her down. Right. That, that, that's the best you can hope for is to slow <laughs> yeah. her down. And you're right about that outside shooting tie because she's really improved in that area. She's shooting over 40 percent from downtown. So she can stretch yes. it out to the three point line now. And she's really been hurting a lot of the opponents and looking like the best player as she is in the league. Last thing for me, Ty, based on the current form of both teams, who do you think will come out on top in this highly anticipated game on Saturday and why? I definitely think it's going to be the New York Liberty today. And I just say that because they look a little bit more well polished and together. They've been playing without one of their point guards, which is Courtney Vandersloot. And they look like they haven't missed a beat in that regard because now Sabrina Inescu is doing a little bit more of the ball handling and she can score off the bounce too and getting the ball distributed to her. And I think um, when it comes to just team basketball, they, they look a little bit more sharp. So I think the the Liberty, they're, they're on a mission. This is a, uh, a vengeance game for them seeing that they haven't met since they lost in that finals last year. And they came all the way out to Vegas, and I doubt they want to leave with a loss. Yeah, I doubt they want to do that. They want to make it eight straight wins right now in the season. They're trying to improve to 12-2 and two as they're out in Sin City to battle the defending champions, defending back-to-back -back champions, Las Vegas Aces. That is Ty Kira Carter, great WNBA analyst. Ty, good to connect with, you, connect with you here. We will talk more about some women's basketball down the road. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for having me. Anytime.